Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Revelation 12 and 12. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone. And Barakatham to all you brothers that I have served in this truth and faith with sincerity. And... I want to go into how Esau's time is almost up. How Esau is about to go into slavery. And how we are about to be delivered, the hopefully elect. Okay. And uh, this is Palms. I'm slacky. This is Psalms 37, chapter 18. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright. And their inheritance shall be for forever. And their inheritance shall be forever. Okay? Because when your house shot comes back and we're delivered. And we're going to get our bodies changed. We're going to live forever. Okay? It's going to be forever. For eternity. And Esau is going to be our footstool. He's going to be in chains. He's going to be because the uh, these curses that are on that are on Jacob, that are on Jacob, they're going to be transferred to Esau. And it's going to be even worse on Esau. Okay. Because brother's going to have spiritual power. We're going to be able to do things that you see superheroes do. We're going to be able to fly. We're going to be able to do all that. And so I'm about to go ahead and get some more scriptures. And this is Jeremiah chapter 30. Verse 7. Alas. For that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And this is talking about when America, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed. Okay? This is talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. When the economy is going to crash, when they implement, uh, they're going to implement their new world order through uh, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, and they're going to uh, promote that 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 uh, that one world currency. And it's basically going to be run under one system. They're going to be try, you know, like, got that thing up at, into one. Okay? And the Most High isn't about uh, gathering everyone up together. And you can see that if you go back into, uh, if you go back into the time of when, uh, What's his name? Uh, Salakia. I can't get it. Uh, the Tower of Babel. Okay. Uh, Nimrod. Okay. When uh he got he had all the nations working together. Okay. And what did the Most High do? He came down and he divided them up. He placed them in separate places throughout the world and uh, changing their language, confusing them. So, you know, the Most High don't want everybody to be together, and that's what these devils are trying to do through that one world order 
RFID chip. Okay. And uh, I'm finna get some more scriptures. And uh, this is to expound on how Yahweh Shai is gonna save Jacob from this coming trouble from from these missiles that's about to destroy America. This is uh, Psalms chapter 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And how do we do that? By, by staying with and reading these scriptures, by, by understanding and doing the work and praying. Okay, that's how we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare and the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. And that noise and pestilence is going to be hundreds of of nuclear missiles bombarding America, man. That's going to be that noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And when it says, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust, because these nuclear missiles, when they come over, when the first nuclear missile hit America, the chariots, but you, but you so-called, but you people know them as so-called UFOs. And and the destruction of America and the salvation of the Israelites is going to happen simultaneously. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day. And that arrow is a nuclear missile, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall by thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Because when these nuclear missiles are hitting the ground, Brothers are going to be getting saved by those chariots, and they're not going to be touched. And you're going to see from, from the chariots view, you're going to see 10,000 people fall at your right-hand side. You're going to be able to see these things. And this is verse 8. Only with thine eyes shall behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation and man and when you see these things from the chariot all the all the people that's not being saved that nuclear that nuclear holocaust is going to be their reward, man, because they wicked. Okay, they going to be looking around, seeing nukes and not flying, seeing chariots, seeing, seeing so-called UFOs, man. They, they're not going to know what to do, man. Why? Because they don't have this truth. Okay? They don't. They don't have this comfort from these scriptures, okay? They don't know. 
And that's all I want to go into. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone and shalom to the hopefully late.